Hello, and welcome back to Hedgy English, where you can listen to English. Uh, today, I want to look at a game. This game is on American television. The way it works is I give you a category and you try to name things in this category. Now, the game, the people who make the game, they ask the same question to a hundred people and then they take the top five answers. So, for example, the question might be uh, name a popular name for a baby boy and they ask a hundred people give me a popular name for a baby boy and uh, 20 people say John 10 people say Max uh, 9 people say George 8 people say Bob 6 people say Tom and they list them and they take the top five uh, John, Max, George the top five one, two, three, four, five answers and people try to guess the top five answers um, the higher the answer the more points you get so the number one answer the top answer is the most points Number two is the next most. And so let's try playing this game. Uh, so first category is name a popular color for a car. Think about it. I will give you 20 seconds think about it. What is a popular color for a car? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, let's stop there. I lied. Eleven seconds. So, uh, what color did you name? The fifth most popular answer is the color of the ocean, blue. The fourth most popular answer is um, if the color that if you compete in the Olympics, first place is a gold medal and second place is silver. So second pop most popular answer, or sorry, fourth most popular answer is silver. The third most popular car color is close to silver. Close. Similar color. Silver, this color. When you get old, when you get older, your hair often becomes this color. And the answer is gray. The second most popular answer is the color of the night, black. And the most popular car color, see if you guessed it, if you have black, what is the opposite of black? So black and the color of a zebra, black and white. So white is the most popular car color. Uh, and each answer has some points and you can see the number of points you got based on your answer. Next question. Name a fruit you might eat for breakfast. Name a fruit you might eat for breakfast. And remember, this was asked in I think America or England. So 
if you are in uh, Thailand, if you are in Malaysia, maybe not the same fruit. Not durian, no durian. Um, so name a fruit you might eat for breakfast. I'll give you 10 seconds to think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, name a fruit you might eat for breakfast. The fifth most popular answer is a, a small fruit, it's a berry, and it's red. Or pink. Sometimes white. Sometimes. The answer is strawberries. The fifth most popular answer is strawberries. And you get eight points if you guessed strawberries. Answer number four. Also a berry, but blue. Blueberries. For nine points. The third most popular answer. This is a yellow fruit that we think of with monkeys. We associate with monkeys. What is it? Banana. The third most popular answer is banana for 18 points. The second most popular answer. It's a fruit that it's a citrus fruit, uh, like a lemon not a lemon it's in the same family and it's not sweet not sweet like candy but sour like sour it's not a lemon it's a grapefruit second most popular answer is a grapefruit for 27 points and the most popular answer it's similar to grapefruit it is also a citrus fruit like lemon like grapefruit it is an orange yep the most popular fruit you might eat for breakfast is an orange with 38 points great and last question for today name something people might do only once a week Name something people might do only once a week. I'll give you 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what's something people might do only once a week? The fifth most popular answer for 12 points is mow the lawn. What is to mow the lawn? Well, if you live in a house, in fr so here's a house. In front of the house is grass usually, green grass. We call that a lawn in America, maybe a yard. And the grass grows, and sometimes you take a machine called a lawnmower and you push it and you cut the grass you mow the lawn you mow the yard the fifth most popular answer is mow the lawn for 12 points now the fourth most popular answer uh, this activity is something that people normally do on Sunday but other days possible. And it's a activity that people have done for a long, long time. It's an activity that has to do with religion, Christianity, specifically. What is it? Go to church. The fourth most popular answer is to go to church for 15 points. Uh, next, the third most popular answer. You should do it. Doctors recommend that you do it every day, 
more than once a week. But when you do it, you can uh, do it at home or you go to a special place where you maybe lift heavy things or run around. Yes, it is exercise. The third most popular answer for 21 points is exercise. The second most popular answer, it's something that people have to do, usually if they want to survive. Um, you can do it yourself. You can go yourself or you can pay someone else, another person, to do it. Um, what is the activity? It's buy groceries, shop for groceries. There's a store with food. You have to go and buy the food every week. Buy apples, buy uh, rice, buy bread, buy tomatoes, whatever. And the most popular thing that people do only once a week you again it's something you normally have to do no choice you don't want to it's not fun but you have to do it uh, you can use a special machine to do it or you can do it with your hands but i think most people at least in america use a machine you also can pay someone pay someone to do it. Uh, what is it? The most popular activity you do once a week is the laundry. Your clothes, they get dirty, they get smelly, uh, and you have to clean them. You do the laundry. You take them, you put them in the machine, you add detergent, the liquid that helps clean them, you put them in the machine, you press the button, it washes the clothes. You do the laundry. And that was 27 points. I will put the point totals in the video here. And you can uh, see how many points you got. The more, the better. If you want to prove you're the best, you can put your points in the comments see who got the most but don't lie honor system truth um, so that's good for today and I hope you enjoyed it I'd love to continue doing it uh, please like share subscribe support the project um, yeah I, I hope to see you again thanks for watching